we gather again. Greetings, dear ones. It is good to be with you again. Settle yourselves as the medium gets more out of the way. There are many already tending to all of you. The medium was sensing she decided to call it the Spirit Gallery. Gave it a name. And there are many, and she welcomed them, who are here to also learn. But then there are many who are also here to share their energy and assistance and the teaching, as you know. And so settle your bodies. Breathe, relax. Let anything just go down that grounding cord. It does not serve your highest good at this time. Envision a beautiful, pure, brightest white light that you can imagine bathing over you like a gentle shower. Imagine every cell and molecule in your being lighting up in this bright white light, the highest vibration that every cell, molecule, bit of you can carry. And allow that vibration to radiate like a beacon of light until all of your being is lit up like a beautiful white candle flame. Purity. This medium has asked for purity and she begins to prepare. And so we ask you to mentally as well ask for purity in your mind and within your heart. With these vibrations bathing over you in this white light. Allow this vibration to mix and enhance the light. And allow it to just expand beyond your being, beyond your physical form, until you imagine yourself a pure crystalline being of light. For that is, in a sense, what you are. Even crystals are energy. You use crystals to generate energy. And many of you are, we'll say, gadgets. And many more uses you are not yet aware of. But even your blood has crystalline aspects to it. And as you raise your vibration, you are becoming a crystalline being of light, a much higher vibrational form. When you think about and look at a crystal, when you hold it up to the light, the, the clear quartz especially, because we are working with the, the purity and the white light, it sparkles and shines and reflects the light in all directions. But it also captures the light with the occlusions. And that is what you do, dear ones. You capture vibration, you refract vibration, you carry vibration, and you can transmit and receive vibration. And many other speakers have spoken about this 
aspect of you being a transmitter and receiver, so we will not go into that again. But to understand that your being is evolving into a crystalline form at the very, we shall say, the cellular, but also even beyond at the quantum level. It is a quantum vibration, a crystalline being. If you could imagine yourselves, what beauty would you behold if you were a crystalline being of light, glowing, radiating, lighting up not only this area, but you emanate such light that it is like a brilliant star in your sky. You are that powerful. And we have been enlightening and raising your awareness to understand the potential that is within you that you have been denied from lack of understanding. And that is no longer the case. You now understand, although you may still be integrating and processing, as you call it, the knowledge and the wisdom that we have shared. But even if a small percentage of this wisdom is anchored in within your consciousness, even at a higher level, you are already operating as a being of light with a higher level of awareness than when you once did. And it continues to raise in vibration as you continue to work with the light, intend to raise your awareness, your consciousness, and your, you could call it a light quotient, but you are light beings. Hmm. This medium just remembered the movie Cocoon. Mm -hmm. And perhaps all of you have seen it. They were beings of light wrapped in a form to make it look like a body. Have you seen that movie? It's been a while. But that gives you a sort of visual, an idea of sorts. It is not exactly like that, but it's a good interpretation. But you are brilliant, dear ones. And so many on your world forget and do not comprehend their brilliance, their power, their potential, their divinity, and how blessed and loved they are, they have forgotten at their core. It is not that you are separate. You have just forgotten. Or you feel cut off from this connection to your expanded being. It is a mental choice, not always conscious, be it, but it is a choice in awareness to focus on the disconnect, the lack of light, the lack of joy, the lack of peace, the lack of love. And when you shift your intention to, we shall say, attention, not intention, when you shift your attention to experiences, thoughts, feelings that are more aligned with joy and peace and love and laughter and all of the good feeling emotions. Think of it as the brighter you shine in the night sky. And when you have these unpleasant emotions, it is like you are turning on the dimmer switch of your star and the lights are starting to go out. But it is not the light going out, it is the intensity of the light. It is like, hmm, the medium just got the word current. 
It is like le less current going through an electrical wire. Does this make sense? So the more you are aligned with your divinity, the more frequency, current of light you are able to flow through your being, carry, transmit, receive, be as a being of light. And when you, just like with your mm, electrical wires, when you put a kink in it, you bend it, the current stops flowing or it's diminished and the lights flicker. Anything that was plugged into that cord, it is similar with your vibrations. When you imagine and know that you are frequency, you are light, you are an energy being, it is simply a matter of what intensity of vibration you intend to emanate and align with one moment to the next. Just like the wattage of a, a what did you call it, a, an electrical cord, the, the capacity that it can carry. Hmm? Does this make sense so far? This is a different topic than we have spoken before. But we want you to understand that you, each and every one of you, are the ones that control the dimmer switch. The amplitude, the intensity of the light quotient that you emanate in your vibration. Think of it that way, and perhaps it will be an easier visual if you see yourself, hmm, your emotions are on a dimmer switch. And when you're feeling joy and excitement and happiness and love and bliss, the lights are cranked all the way up. Bright. The whole house is glowing like a bright star in the middle of the night sky. You can see it like your sun. But when you have an unpleasant emotion, you feel bad, you feel sad, you feel scared, whatever it is, you turn down the light quotient on that switch and the lights start to go down and it gets darker. The light is still there, dear ones. You have simply chosen to work with less of it. And it is unpleasant because it is not your, how shall you call it, it is not who you are. And so it is like putting a dam on the flow of energy, the flow of current, the flow of light and love that you're allowing. And it feels uncomfortable because you are cutting yourself off from your natural connection, your natural flow to your creator, to source, to the light that you are, to the light that all are connected to. For everything, as we have explained before, everything is energy. Everything is vibration. It's just all vibrating at a different frequency. And you get to choose what frequency you are working with. And by your choices of how you're feeling, it's turning up or down the frequency dial. Does this make sense? Hopefully, this visual will help you understand in a more concrete level. Because you all have lights in your home, and this medium even has a dimmer switch in her dining room. And so, if those of you have one of those in your homes, the next time you use it, this may pop in. You may remember this conversation and anchor it in. And that is good, because it will allow you as you might call it an anchor point for the memory, for the file in your conscious awareness in your brain to pull it up faster so that you have access to this information and this, oh, oh, I understand. I now know how to change my vibration. Turn the dial. 
crank up the volume of the light. And if you simply intend to do that, your vibration will change by your intention. And you may, in a matter of seconds, go from the moody blues, as you sometimes call it, to a giddiness, a childlike wonder, especially around this time of year with your holiday season, the children are filled with joy and wonder. Tap into that. Use that vibration for the season because there is so much light this time of year on both sides of the veil, dear ones, because your solstice is about light and that is coming up in a few of your days. And then you have the celebration of your Christmas holidays and all the lights and all the decorations and even for those that do not celebrate the Christmas, the Christ light, they have their own celebrations of light. Everything this time of year is about celebrating and honoring and welcoming the light. Think about that. We just told you that you are that light, dear ones. Celebrate yourselves. Celebrate your divinity. Remember your connection to the divine light within you. For you, everyone on this world, have the same spark of creator within them, that light that can shine as bright as a star in your night sky. They just have to buff it up a little bit if they're not feeling so good and choose to crank up that dimmer switch. Turn on the lights instead of leaving them down and feeling sad or whatever it is. Always you have a choice with how you feel. And as many other speakers have said and explained so many different ways, your thoughts and whatever you are focusing on, that will trigger your emotions. And those emotions will basically determine how much light you are willing to shine. And so everything is connected, but at the core of it, the easiest way to know whether you're shining brightly or shining very little is those feelings and the range of them. Those are your key, dear ones. Use your body as the tool that your Creator has given to you as a gift to help you understand your alignment, how to align to the vibration that you wish to create in your lives. Because whatever vibration you are feeling in your body, in your being, that is the vibration you are putting out into the universe, like like that beautiful star in the sky. Imagine how if a star chose to emanate sadness, it might not be so brilliant, would it? But a star that is choosing to shine with joy and love and excitement would be blinding, brilliant, it's the same type of star. It's the sa- it can be the same star. It just chooses to focus on something different. And its light goes up and down. That is your emotional roller coaster. That is exactly what happens with all of you. Your light goes up and down like a dimmer switch. But your light never goes out. It's just as though you've, you might call it, mucked it up a bit. You had a little dirty 
And then you have to buff it up and shine it up a little bit and change your focus and shine brightly again. It takes a second or two to choose to shine brightly when you are feeling not so bright. And so we ask you to use all of the decorations, the, the lights, all of the beauty when you are out and about, even driving through the neighborhoods. It's fun to see the decorations and the lights. And it makes you feel good, doesn't it? It's normal to want to connect to beauty because beauty is in your nature. Beauty and joy are in your divine blueprint. They are who you are. And so these type of visuals evoke that emotion from most people, the people that allow themselves to feel the joy. There are some that, I don't know why, dear ones, but some people this time of year, it, bring, it makes them go even darker. And instead, they shut down out of sadness or what have you. But there is so much light, and with only a shift in a thought, they could just feel so much better, even if they don't want to celebrate what might seem as a religious or ceremonial time. Just celebrate a time of light on your world. The solstice, the light comes back. The longest day of the year, you're celebrating the return of the light. But you're also celebrating the light of your creator, the light of your brother who came on this world to help you. And the Master is here with you. You all know him, the Christ Presence is here. And he is working on all of you now. Receive the blessings. Receive the light. Allow yourselves to bathe in his presence. Any sadness, any doubt, anything that does not serve you. Envision it as a little bit of kink in the wire or dirt on your light and invite the team and invite the Christ presence to clean you up, polish you up so you shine brightly and welcome this blessing this night for you are here to receive these words to receive these energies to receive so many gifts and this is the season for gift giving and so you are exactly where you are meant to be and for anyone who hears these words later there is always a season for love and light. It has no barriers. It has no time frame. It is simply worldwide more easily celebrated in this time of year because of the, the darkness. And so honor this. You are light, you are loved, you are blessed. And you are being gifted this night. Breathe in this love and light from your Creator, from your brother Jesus. His mother Mary is here as well. 
They have both been present while we have been speaking. And so, dear ones, you have been blessed this night. Remember that you are light, as bright as the stars in your sky. No one can take your light from you. Only you can turn down the light, the volume as you call it. As the previous speaker mentioned, the dimmer switch. You control that switch by how you feel. And only you maintain your vibration. Understand and honor your power. Your strength, your divinity, your light. Don't let anyone tell you that you are not light, that you are not loved, for you know better. You simply need to be reminded once in a while, because of your earthly existence, it gives you some fun experiences hmm, that you might not consider fun initially. Think of using the term interesting, challenging. Hmm, I wonder why that happened. That's interesting. Instead of focusing on the negative, and your perspective will be very, very different and your vibration will be more aligned from a state of awareness and you will be able to reassess, realign, adjust your focus more easily than when you automatically revert to a lower vibration out of habit from what you have been taught. We have been assisting you to become more aware so that you know that you are empowered. You embrace your power and know that you create everything in your life. The universe will align with your vibration. So as easy as it could be, focus on feeling as good as you can vibrationally from one moment to the next and allow the universe to match that frequency. Think of it as a bright star in the sky asking for another bright star in the sky. To come play with it. Mm -hmm. I I want a matching frequency. That's essentially what you are doing. But it also works on the lower vibrations. And so if you can learn to be aware and consciously fine tune your vibration to be more bright with that luminous light that you are. Dear ones, you will create magnificent lives for yourselves and the synchronicities that you like to call it, the magic, it will seem like a magical life and you will enjoy it. You came here to enjoy and have experiences, so make the most of it. If only those on your world could take this time of year and how they feel more filled with light and love and joy and childlike wonder and share that frequency, that vibration, 
every day, not just a few days or weeks in the year, your entire world would be very different. And so it starts with each individual to be their own conscious creator. And one individual, dear ones, can affect many. Think of all the inventors that one person created something and it affects many. We're not saying you have to be an inventor, but that's just an analogy. Your vibration, just like if you saw yourself as a beautiful radiant star in the sky, how far does that light shine, dear ones? It shines beyond what your physical eyes can see because it goes into frequencies that your naked eye cannot perceive. Just like your x-rays or your ultraviolet, it is still variations of light. It goes on beyond your comprehension. That is how powerful you are. Your frequency, your light quotient, you might want to call it, is as powerful as a star that shines in the sky. You are not small. Own your power, own your divinity, and use it to create from a space of excitement and joy and wonder and anticipation, exhilaration. And play that game of life that you came here to play. Not just get through to the end and go, Woohoo, whatever, I got through it. No, you don't play games to just get to the end. You play them to have fun. Play this game of life filled with joy as much as you can. We know there is a roller coaster of emotions and experiences. Just as the winds are outside howling. <laughs> and so the ebb and flow of your emotions, just like the wind. There are intense moments and there are calm moments. Use them. Use the intensity of the emotion with the positive feeling vibrations to create from a space of joy and wonder and excitement and use those times of peace to focus on gratitude and thankfulness and appreciation and those vibrations are sent out to bring you more things to match them it is up to you to decide what you want to create for yourselves. We're simply helping you to understand and to remember how to do so in these forms. Our blessings to all of you. Enjoy your holiday celebrations. Know that you are blessed, you are whole, and you are Oh, dear ones, you are so bright, if only you could see yourselves from our vantage point. Know that all is well. Stay aligned, stay focused on what you wish to experience. And all will come to fruition in divine timing. Enjoy the experience, enjoy living your lives. Enjoy the decorations and the season that you are in and enjoy the vibrational shifts that are coming in the week ahead with the solstice and into your new year. Our blessings to all of you and we are complete.